Almost two and a half million people have taken shelter from Cyclone Amphan, an evacuation made all the more challenging by COVID-19. It was the strongest tropical storm on record as it tracked north through the Bay of Bengal with wind speeds of 270 miles an hour. But they were barely half that by the time the vortex made landfall close to the border of Bangladesh and India. Scientists believe the record sea temperatures that fueled the storm may have been caused in part by more sunlight filtering through pollution-free skies during the pandemic lockdown. What happened this year is that there is much more radiation which has come because of lack of aerosols and also reduced uh, clouds. So it has warmed more now and in this condition a cyclone has formed. So what has happened is that cyclone we all know it basically depends upon the heat content of the ocean. So more heat content, more intense is the cyclone. Climate change is fueling superstorms. The sea temperature in the Bay of Bengal reached 34 degrees in the first two weeks of May. The energy from such warm water whips up the wind speed. Strong storms are increasing by 8% a decade. Rising temperatures also increase rainfall from storms. Research suggests it will surge by 20% in the coming decades. The new normal of climate change will make poorer countries even more vulnerable to other emergencies such as pandemics. This is a clear view of what happens when two crises come together. You know, Bangladesh are dealing with the COVID-19 outbreak and at the same time they've now got to deal with a super cyclone heading their way. And, and these, these sort of combined or compound problems are really where you see the serious issues. And that's what we've got to mitigate for in the future as well. It's, it's not just climate change impacts. It's when climate change coincides with, with one of these other sort of um, outbreaks. This is likely to be the strongest storm to hit the area since a cyclone in 2007 killed 3,500 people. The pandemic is an extra hazard this time round, and authorities are opening up schools and other large buildings as cyclone shelters to reduce the risk of the coronavirus spreading through overcrowding. Thomas Moore, Sky News.